Our entire understanding of dinosaurs and extinction was pioneered by a poor, uneducated woman on the coast of England. Her name was Mary Anning, and she changed science forever, but was almost erased from history for doing it. So the scene is the early 1800s in Lyme Regis, England, a place we now call the Jurassic Coast. At this time, the word dinosaur doesn't even exist. The official scientific view, backed by the church, insisted God's creation was perfect. While a few scientists were just beginning to argue for extinction, the idea was hugely controversial, and Mary's fossils would soon provide the undeniable proof. Mary Anning was born into a poor family. In 1811, her brother finds a massive skull. Over the next few months, Mary, just 12 years old, painstakingly digs the rest of the 5.2 meter, or 17 foot, skeleton out of the cliff. It looks like a giant, monstrous lizard fish. It's the first complete ichthyosaur skeleton ever to be scientifically recognized and studied. Scientists in London are baffled. It's not a crocodile. It's not a whale. It's something new. A few years later, in 1823, she discovers an even stranger creature, the first complete skeleton of a plesiosaur. It's so strange with its impossibly long neck that the famous French scientist Georges Cuvier at first dismisses it as a fake. But Mary Anning wasn't just a collector, she was a self-taught geologist and anatomist. She was the one who knew what she was looking at. She read dense scientific papers, taught herself anatomy, and drew the technical diagrams. She corresponded with top minds in Europe, explaining her findings. But she was a poor, working-class woman in a gentleman's club. She wasn't allowed to join the Geological Society of London. She wasn't allowed to publish her own research. So wealthy male scientists would visit her, buy her groundbreaking fossils, then go back to London, publish her discoveries as their own, and become famous. Mary Anning spent her entire life walking those dangerous cliffs, risking her life in landslides, one which killed her dog, Trey. Her discoveries provided the hard, undeniable evidence that forced the scientific world to accept two radical ideas, that giant reptile-like creatures once ruled the earth, and that species could go extinct. She built the foundation for the work of Charles Darwin. She was the true pioneer of paleontology, but her name was written out of the textbooks, replaced by the men who bought her work. Thanks for watching. Follow me here at Hoodie History for more fascinating stories from the past.